and we have arrived at the final product of today's episode, the Baroskis Monkey Habitat. So I know you might be thinking, we're here at the Dole Habitat um, from a couple weeks back, or at least from this series. It's been a while since we've actually been in this park. Um, you can see the Dole Habitat, I think, but if you'll notice, if you turn around with my sloppy camera skills, um, we have a whole new area over here. Um, so obviously you've seen the, the speed build and stuff, and you know, it's, it's, it's fine. But, um, so, this is the brand new area for the Brass Monkey Habitat. I have paused the game because it obviously is going to get a little bit laggy and a little bit slow. If I unpause it, I mean, I can try. You'll see what happens if I unpause it. I'm pretty sure we're on fast. No, we're not on fast forward. Okay. Um, ignore all the alerts. Oh, something has escaped. Oh, look at that. It's a Brass Monkey. <laughs> What is it? How did it... It's not escaped. How is it escaped? Is it because of my barrier work? It shouldn't have escaped. I don't see the problem. Um, it's gone with this one? It's not... I mean, it's not escaped. Alright, that seems to be fine. And for that reason, we're gonna pause the game. <laughs> um, so, anyway. Um, this is the overview the guests have. This is mainly the only view. Uh, I was gonna put like a, a shelter viewing, but I felt like I just wanted to make that for the Baros monkeys themselves. So they have a little free time by themselves without the people watching them 24-7 and stuff. Um, I honestly really like the favorite part of this, at least the outside enclosure, is the climbing structures. I made these cool little domes, and you'll notice that each one is different. Well, like there's three different versions basically. Um, we have one that is very detailed and that has like all little on the strings, this one is very basic, you only have four different ones, and I think there's another one, I'm pretty sure that's this one, where you can see it's like in the middle. Um, so yeah, probably the climbing structures is probably my favorite part of this entire habitat, using the little fencing and stuff we used from a couple episodes back and stuff. Um, I'm honestly been using this a lot more, um, but yeah, oh, if we're gonna work, and then moving on. Alright, so after going in the outside area now, we're moving on to the inside, also before we do that, I would just love to mention that I know this is meant for the Ibex, I just really liked using it as a cool little background piece. Like, instead of putting all those rocks together, why not just use this thing? I know the monkeys can't use it, but it just looks really cool in the background, just to give, like, more of, like, an Asian, Chinese, uh, an Asian kind of theme to the habitat, which is really nice. I like it. Uh, moving on, if we go inside, this is probably one of my favorite parts. I tried to, my hardest to make this look like an abandoned kind of broken down building so you can see I put all the little ruin pieces and like the the decals from the Europe pack um, into it and just making this the extra little mile I'm um, using all the new pieces from the Europe pack and everything it's great um, and looking awesome so that's pretty much it for this habitat it's not too much um, I tried to blend it in with the forest so this really fits in with the whole Asian area we have going on over here um, I, I gotta be honest, I'm having a, a hard time figuring out ideas for this app, for this park. Uh, I've been so caught up in Yellowstone and Brixton Zoo that I have not came back here in a while. And now that I'm coming back here, I, I haven't really been paying much attention to what I'm gonna do next in this park. So I'm really loving this area with you have going on with the doles and the bears and the monkeys. Um, but I don't know what to do next. Um, I really need you guys' help because if you have any ideas, any ideas for like inspiration or any animals you want me to put in here, um, in the park, or I, mean, I guess we're probably going to fit them all in the park, but um, I really need inspiration and I really need your guys' help to figure out what you want next in this park because I honestly have no ideas. Um, this was my attempt. I have a couple works in progress that I kind of just get bored with and not finish yet. This was the Japanese Pacock Habitat. Um, oh, the game is lagging, okay. Um, which honestly was a really good idea for me. I I don't know if I'm going to keep it, it's kind of on my, yeah, board, so. Um, and then the other thing I have going on, which I kind of liked at the beginning, I think I am still might keep it and make some modifications, was the crocodile habitat. I have this kind of floating island up here, which I don't really know what I'm going to do with. So, I have a lot of things to work out in this area. I want to keep going with the reptile area, I want to keep going with Asia, I just don't know what to do. Um, we have the Malayan Tapir habitat I could work on, which I might actually do. Um, but I honestly do not know what I am going to 
do. Um, so, next week, I am going to put on another Phoenix Park video to catch up with everything. And I think it's going to be either one of these two. Now, the red panda habitat over here, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but this is our little, uh, little Asian mammal house. Or not really a mammal, but... Yeah, I guess so. A uh, little Asian house, I have to call it. little Asian house. We have red pandas, Chinese penguins, and the babarusa. Um, so all those three are going to be in this building. We have finished the red pandas a long time ago, and I forgot to post that. So um, I will either post that, or I will finish this habitat, which is the Binturong habitat, which is taken forever, um, which is really cool. Um, yeah, however, if we do get birds, I might just give this to the Binturong, and then I'll put like a bird in here. I, I don't know though. It's 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 undecided. Um, anyway, I hope you all enjoy. Also, big announcement. Um, actually, technically two big announcements. One, um, regarding our Jurassic World Evolution 2 series, a new DLC has finally been announced from Jurassic World Evolution or Frontier, um, or Steam. I, I honestly can't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Frontier. <laughs> um, we have the brand new DLC, the Camp Cretaceous DLC, which I'm not gonna get too much into detail. We'll get there in the next episode of our New Bar Desert scene, or New Bar Desert Park. Um, I am very excited for that park, or for that um, for that pack. We get two brand new species, the Scorpius Rex and the Monolophosaurus. Then we also get two variants, which is the Kentrosaurus or Pierce. If you watch Camp Cretaceous on Netflix, you'll know what I'm talking about. These are all creatures from that series, or not Netflix series. So the two variants are the uh, Cantrosaurus, Pierce, and the Uranosaurus. And then we have eight new skins, which I'm not going to get into too much, because I honestly don't remember all of them. Um, my favorite, pr probably from the pack, are probably be Parasaurolophus Lux, or the Bioluminescent Parasaurolophus, which is, we have our first, like, glowing creature, which is really cool. And obviously the Scorpius Rex. Scorpius Rex is really cool, in my opinion. And I really, really, really want to see the, like, the animations to go with it. We also get new things like placeable trees. We get more decorations, which I love, um, to, like, elevate our parks more. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah. That's gonna be very exciting. I'm thinking about starting a mini park to go along with our new Bar Desert thing, because honestly, I'm not really feeling the desert biome that much. I mean, I don't really know what I was thinking when I did choose the best desert biome, because honestly, de the desert kind of biome is kind of boring. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to delete the park we've already done like three episodes on, because I do really like it, and I'm going to keep going with that. It's just that I should have chosen a better, like a more forest or a Pennsylvania biome. That would be cooler. Um, but now we're getting placeable trees, so I think I'm going to do a mini-series Maybe just like a dress World series, maybe or something, something like that. I don't know. I am not exactly sure. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy. Um, other um, big announcement. Uh, I'm not gonna get into too much detail with because I haven't reached it yet. But um, for any of you who follow me on Instagram already, like before um, the channel or anything, you know that I like to post art, which is completely off topic from gaming. Um, Art is another one, like drawing, mostly in markers and stuff, is one of the things that I love to do in my free time when I'm not gaming or anything, or when I'm not, like, doing something. Um, just in my free time, I love drawing, doing anything. So, I am starting a second channel. No gaming. This will obviously still keep going. Um, the chan this channel and everything will keep t in touch with the regular schedule. But, I am going to start a second channel, Charlie X Drawing. Which will be unrelated. Will be me still. There won't be as much voiceovers, but we are going. I am going to be taking suggestions from you guys um, for anything that you want me to draw. I'm mostly going to do markers and pencil and stuff, but I can make a couple exceptions like watercolors and stuff. Mostly that though. I am very excited to keep and just start that up. Um, it's not going to be posting nearly as much as this channel. I'm probably going to be posting two times a month on that channel because. Obviously art, obviously, art takes a lot longer than gaming, because gaming I could probably build a habitat in like maybe two or three hours. Um, art for me takes a while, especially if it's like a really good piece I really want to take care of and stuff. Um, so yeah, I am very looking forward to that. I don't really know how to exactly explain what the videos will be about in the other channel. Um, you'll just have to wait and see. I do have really great ideas for them. I have. A awesome idea. The first couple videos will be like starter ones, so they're not going to be too de detailed or anything. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes out for that. I will link it in the um, description below. I hope you all enjoy, 
and I will see you next week for a new short on Monday and a um, Phoenix Park video on Friday. Mm -hmm.